Here we're doing a bit of uh, main guideline following. Search techniques with Ruth. Getting her ready for a recruit course starting next weekend. The idea of this exercise is that she follows the line up, over, round, or wherever it may go. Searching along the way and identifying the line at every point where it's tied off before she moves on. She's found something down there. That's the story. Nice search technique. Shuffle, sweep, get those feet working, that's it, watch out for that big hole in front of you, What have you found? Planted a log there so she trips her on it if she doesn't search. moved again. So what set of ferals have you come to and I don't identify them for us when you do get to them? How do you know that's in? Because why? One then three. One then three ferals. So if, if you came across three ferals in close proximity and then one, what's that indicating? 31, you're way out. Way out. Okay, so you're happy with uh, the combination of the ferals, which way's in, which way's out? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good work. Keep going all the way to the end, if it ends. So this time this uh, exercise is all about search and rescue technique. So 
we're going into this uh, door here, where Ruth is. Inside, she's going to practice her service techniques. So, on the floor, laid out a few obstacles. Nothing too hard. And this will be completely smoke filled. So, we're going to smoke it out so she won't be able to see a thing in front of her. Artificial smoke, of course. Oh dear. You seem to have a fire in the tank shed. So this is the tank shed. Um, as you can see, it's got a little bit of smoke in at the moment. Soon we'll completely smoke it out so even we won't be able to see. So we're going to utilize the thermal imaging camera to keep an eye on Ruth um, to make sure she searches properly. Um, right down the far end of the tank shed here we've actually got a ladder I've extended her across the tire width so she's going to need to go under that and over or whatever she decides. Let the fun begins. You can see these smoke machines are really effective in no time at all. Visibility is becoming pretty restricted. Move to this side. I had to notify Firecom that we're doing this because the smoke that's pouring out under the front of the door in the eaves looks so impressive that you could get a call to our own fire station. Two minutes. So here's Ruth already donned and started, ready to uh, hand her tally tag into the Echo. We've had to time her to make sure she meets the required time. Obviously, because uh, she hasn't done it a hang of a lot yet. The time frame can only but decrease from now. It just takes practice to get it quicker and quicker. So as you can see, she's been searching around the room, looking through her tick camera. She's found a patient. Now she's making her way out. She knows roughly where she wants to go. You can see the heat there that shows up the firefighter. Heading towards the door. Soon she'll be at the door, she's at the door now. Good work. You right, Ruth? And she's out the door by the looks of that. Uh, obviously we're looking through the thermal imaging camera because we can't even see the door from where we're standing and good rescue just a bit of, bit of footage here she's just made a rescue now we're just getting her to do more searching just found an obstacle there on the floor So good work, Ruth. Going under the ladder.
Good work. So what, what should you do whenever you um, enter and exit doorway? Stay low. Cool, good work. Thumbs up.